guys, on today's video, as you guys can see from the title, we're gonna be doing a get ready with me. I'm gonna share with you guys a pretty basic everyday kind of glam, trying out new makeup. If you guys are keeping up with me and saw my most recent video, I did do a Sephora haul. So all of those products that I shared with you guys there, I'll be using today. So if you guys wanna see a get ready with me and also a little first impressions, then just keep on watching. So of course we're gonna start off with primer. I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I am really excited about this product because I did a little digging with Tatcha and I didn't realize that Tatcha isn't as clean as I thought it was, at least for the fragrance portion of it. I did a little bit of research and I also watched Skincare by Hiram, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen any of his videos, I highly recommend you check him out. Um, but he did do a video reviewing Tatcha products and he did bring up a lot of good points about how Tatcha uses fragrance in their products. So I was really excited to see this in the clean beauty section where it's fragrance free and free of parabens and all of the crazy stuff. And we're gonna try this guy out. I tried this primer out already and I have to tell you guys, it has a very interesting feel. It feels like a hydrating type of primer because it's really lightweight. But once you get it onto the skin, it almost has like a slick, silicone kind of feel and what really drew me to this product is that it also has a little bit of skincare benefits to it so it's really going to help minimize pores even the skin tone the one thing that i do have to tell you guys it's one of those products if you use a lot it starts to flake on the skin almost like a dry skin so a little goes a long way with this product I'm not even sure why primers do that, but there's a few primers with this type of texture where if you either put too much or have too many layers or rub it in, it starts to flake off. We're going in with the Sephora S Clean Foundation. This is their Clean Glowing Skin Foundation and I also picked up the brush. And I got the shade number 17. I tried this product already, but I only used it once. And it is way too dark. It's really hard for me to shade match myself online. It's really hard to figure out what's the perfect light shade or medium shade. I usually try and go for that in-between color, but I didn't feel like I was able to get that with this foundation, but... Nonetheless, it's not the worst shade. The undertone works for me, which is good. It's just... It's just way too dark. But I can always go in with my concealer and kind of balance everything out. It has a little bit of a light to medium coverage, at least in my opinion. So obviously skin is still peeking through. I honestly prefer this type of coverage for an everyday look. I'm using this really dense brush that is recommended for the foundation and I really like it. I like to compare it to the Tarte brush. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but Tarte came out with something similar. That used to be one of my favorite foundation brushes. It's kind of like a big smudger eraser brush and, and absolutely no streaks at all. The coverage on this foundation is more of a skin finish so it's not a true matte. It does have a little bit of a radiance and shine peeking through which is really nice so i want to continue that radiance and i'm going to go in with my nars radiant creamy concealer as i mentioned too earlier the foundation is just like a little bit too dark so this is going to help balance the color next i'm going to go in with the shape tape glow on this is by tarte and i really like this product mixed in with a concealer type of makeup I usually don't go full on with powder just because I don't like looking too powdered up or even just feeling like I have so much on my skin so one of the things that I like to do is go in directly with my bronzer and this is actually a new bronzer for me this is the lawless summer skin velvet matte bronzer and I was really intimidated not gonna lie when I saw it in the pan because it looks pretty dark but once I blend it onto the skin, it's actually really soft and subtle. It really reminds me of my Buxom Staycation Vibe Bronzer in the Backyard Bronze. So I'm just going to go in directly onto my skin. 
gonna go in with this Lawless Seal the Deal Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just gonna set my under eye because I did put concealer there and it's gonna move on me. And then whatever is left, I kinda just push all over the skin. Clearly I did my brows off camera. We're gonna jump right into the eyeshadow. So I picked up Cover Effects Shimmer Veil Shadows and I got two shades, Magic and Soleil. I really wanted to get something that I could either use alone or just something to add brightness to my eye and I feel like these two shades work really well. They both have a pink tone to them. Soleil is more rose gold toned. Which I really love. I can definitely see myself using this more of an everyday. Magic is a little bit more bright. So this is something that I would use in the inner corner or just something to add a little bit of brightness. So I'm going to layer the two colors together. I'm going to go in with Soleil first. And this is the rose gold shade. I'm going to go directly onto my lids. And then just blend it out with my finger. go in with magic and I'm going to use a small packing brush this time because I want to put this just in the inner corner. Oh that's so cute. Definitely need some liner because now my lids just look super pushed back but I mean as far as the color when you use a packing brush you get more pigment out of it um, but when you use your fingers and you blend it out you get a really sheer look which I find really pretty if you just want to throw something on the eye. Really pretty I like that. And then to finish off the eyes, we're going in with Bare Mineral Strength and Length Serum Infused Mascara. So if you guys, again, watch my previous haul, then you guys would know that I really got this because of the wand. It has such an interesting flat shape wand. I like how I'm able to really get close to the roots of my lashes without having the wand knock against my lids, which is something that actually happens a lot because I have a little bit of a hooded lid. I just like how I'm able to manipulate the wand and really get deep into the lashes. And because they're more of like a plastic bristle versus those brushes, I'm able to get a lot of definition and separation. It's two-sided, so the other side, it looks like there's no wand, but it does have little grooves. So you're able to get that extra lift, which I think is really cool. And I also picked up from the Sephora S Clean line two shades of lip tint oils. And this one's in the shade Apricot. It's a perfect pinky brown nude. So I just lined my lips with the Milani Natural Liner. And then I'm going to go in with the lip tint oil. One thing I have to tell you guys is that I had this sitting upright. I thought it sat a little bit and I actually saw how much was in this bottle. This is brand new and I have probably an inch or so empty. So it's kind of interesting how much these products are actually filled. Okay guys, so this is the final look. A really soft, natural kind of glam. I have to tell you guys, this is really how I would do my makeup before COVID, of course. So my overall thoughts on all of these products, starting off with the foundation, because I think the foundation for sure was something that I had my doubts on. Um, if you guys watched my Sephora haul video, I shared with you guys this foundation gave me the same kind of vibe as the CoverGirl clean foundation I believe that was and I have to tell you it definitely is so different from it obviously two different products um, but I just was expecting it to have really little to no coverage really do like it it's more of a lightweight foundation you still get your skin peeking through which I really like and it does have like more of that soft skin finish so my favorite product so far from trying all of these products for sure is the mascara i was really blown away with how the mascara separated my lashes and added a little bit of length so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this simple get ready with me comment down below if you guys liked any of the products that i shared with you guys today and i'll see you guys on the next video